Yeah, we just finished filming a video with Brandon. Can't tell you what it is, but it was hilarious. Why not? <laughs> he's, all, he's weird about that. He's secretive. We, we sent Papa Walsh and Corey on a date. I've been poured out the last week and a half. Yeah. I've been on four dates. Dude, that girl from the Renaissance Festival, the one that wanted the threesome, she hit me up on Instagram. Really? The the yeah. What do you mean? The, Wait, oh, you added her on Instagram? No, she found me. Mm, look at this thing. Oh, Dude, I, sh I should have had them leave it as a whole pickle. They, they cut this up. I have four slices here. Give me a slice of the pickle. Dude, these are thick. Oh my god. Who is it? Mm. Wow. Mm. That's a good fucking pickle. That's a god tier pickle. It's delicious. Do you like pickles, dabs? Yeah, but I don't need that much for a pickle. It's so fucking good. Better than cheese beer? Oh, yeah. The cheese is actually tasty. <sighs> Most places have that, like, fake ass cheese. Mm -hmm. Bro, grape Powerade is so good. Holy shit, this is hot. Oh, you mean that one? Okay, we got. I don't know how to get it anywhere. It's like burning my hand right now. Oh. There we go. That's corned beef. What'd you get, Dad? I got the angry Russian. Angry Russian. With boom boom sauce. <laughs> boom boom sauce. Angry Russian. That sounds like Nick when he games. Sauce. Dude, I'll be on business calls and then I'll hear Nick. Dude, people will hear you. You're so loud that I'll be downstairs and people will hear you in the background. Are you serious? Yeah, going. Dude, you make some weird noises. You scream a lot. Yeah. Nick's losing in video games sometimes. Like, fucking fuck my teammate. He's like, you hear him banging, it's like an earthquake. Yeah, my, Michael does that when he plays. I just unplug the um, internet. Uh, and he goes, he's like, oh. Uh, I should try that. You can, if you have Xfinity. I should can, just troll you. You can shut anything off. And just pretend we have bad internet and keep unplugging it. I think Nick would actually have a panic attack. That's a good idea. That's a good way to get your um, Bro, you wouldn't know. Your PC break down. Good sandwich. I'm sure your pickles. I don't know. I can probably just jizz a bit of pickle. There's nothing better than a good pickle. I think these ones, you want one? I'll try it. I think these pickles are the best you can get. Like, I don't think anything can beat this. I, I think they're homemade. Home pickled. They raised them since they were young. Jesus Christ. I know. That was started out as an angry cucumber. Look at that thing. That's a thick boy. Damn, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Did you like it? The bagel? Uh huh. So, Aiden, tell us what's new. Give us an update. You know everything I know. <laughs> nothing new. We did a video today. You were there. I was there. We were all there. Do you usually like, hide in your room until we film another video? No. Get up early every day, do some work, go to the gym, go tanning. So, so some of you don't know this, but Papa Walsh has 40 illegitimate children across spanning like 30 countries. Old long distance relationships before I got tied down. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more crazy Walshes in the world? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. The oldest one's 50. Yeah, you had a child at <laughs> nine. <laughs> yeah. I started busting at nine. That's the best time. <laughs> you don't even know what you're doing. If you're nine years old and watching this, it's too late. Start busting now. If you're nine years old and watching this, you might want to rethink <laughs> your direction in life. I don't think you can think much at nine. What are you doing at nine, Nick? Smacking your head into drywall? <laughs> No, I wasn't busting yet. When did you guys start busting? I think I busted my first nut probably in sixth grade, seventh grade. You remember? Yeah. Like the day? It was a cold morning, I remember. Uh, <laughs> the devil wasn't in the morning. It was just me and my hand. Uh, I remember printing out a picture of a model on fucking on the printer. <laughs> Printed? That's that's sad. Not as sad as buying porn. Who bought porn? I've never bought porn. I've stolen porn. You have? Yeah. Back then you had to buy porn. I think when I was ten. There was like porn DVDs in the airport still. I was like, this is interesting. I'm not paying for it. Brandon, is that bag empty? Mm, no. Can't What's ask mom and dad. Pickles. Pong. Is there any bag empty bag? Just eat the trash. Yeah, Nick, eat the trash. Don't waste. This is what well. we do when we forget to take out the trash. We just give it to Nick. <laughs> Nick's name's Billy Goat. Oh, I'm just hungry. Are you mm -hmm. this hungry? Yeah, I eat my entire sandwich. So we're staying outside for three hours. <laughs> that was from down deep. Good mm -hmm. one, Corey. You want me to take a swig? That was your audience rate it. That was the pickle. A two. A two? Yeah, that would have been uh -huh. a two. That's a two out of ten for Nick. Wait, what do you think that someone pays me on my stream to fart so I can fart for them? <laughs> they do? <laughs> Five dollars per fart. <laughs> That's where they just bad melody. Think you. about where the world is right now, where you're getting Seatbelt. paid to fart. Yeah. That's like that's like shit you see in a movie. Yep. Idiocracy, man. We're Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> You have more in common with the camp girls now than you did last week. 
Just pickles, got there. So what do you like? Got cans of pork and beans in the cabinet to keep it fueled up. Dude, he's just a gassy motherfucker. He doesn't have to eat anything weird. How many times has somebody paid you to fart? In one stream, six. Oh my god. Can I pay you not to fart on stream? Sure. <laughs> Gotta beat the market though. Mm -hmm. Going rates like five dollars. Can you imagine if like I got in a bidding war with some like girl who lives in Dubai and people started paying you like 10k for a fart? It probably wasn't a girl. <laughs> there might be some smelly girl out there that just loves farts. That's messed up, man. <laughs> what busted farts? You guys got plain potato chips? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't really eat chips that much. I don't like all this seasoning and stuff. Me neither. Like right, good old plain nuts. There's nothing, nothing bad in them. You guys are plain motherfuckers. I also don't like a lot of sauce on things, or cheese. Me neither. Like this is literally meat and bread no, and I mean, sauerkraut. Actually, yeah, I know. I've never eat bread. I, only, I had one of yours and one of yours. I'm a little pickle slut. Mm -hmm. Give me your pickle and I'll fart for you. <laughs> <laughs> but what a fucking weird exchange that would be. You know it's sexual too. Is it? No one's paying for you to fart for your Oh, that guy. Yeah, 100%. And if he is beaten to, to me farting, power to him, dude. <laughs> That's why I was telling Deb, I don't think what she's doing is too bad. Do you feel any kind of way that you know someone's busting to you? No, I don't give a shit. Do you, you feel, care? Do you, do you feel confident? No. Do you don't feel empowered? Nope. I don't feel anything. As long as they're not nutting on me, I'm good. What have you told <laughs> What have you told 10 year old you that in the future you'd be making money from farting on camera? I'd probably be happy as shit. <laughs> <laughs> really worked out of that. <laughs> Nick, you should charge based on in intensity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a premium. That like, was a six second fart. That would be $100, please. <laughs> like if you shit your pants, they give you an extra 50 bucks. <laughs> if you sharted. But you have to show proof. If you shart, for 50 bucks, for 100 bucks, if you shart, you'll send them the dirty underwear. Make sure you wear tidy white. Ew. Now we're uh, talking. Nick, have you told your mom this? The farting thing? I'm yeah. sure it's come up in conversation before. No, not yet. But I don't see a reason why I couldn't. She'd probably be proud. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be at your next family dinner. Yeah, just like, another, hey, uh, Nick, how are you making money right now? <laughs> <laughs> you like, want to see? <laughs> hey, by the way, you remember how you wanted me to be an engineer? Guess what I'm doing? <laughs> Dude, give me 10 bucks and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it now. Nicholas! Money is money. You put those two puppies down. I got a peanut butter stuck on the top of my mouth. <laughs> that first one was godlike, and this one's starting to get slow. You shouldn't have got two. Not for you, little piglet. I'm barely breathing over here. You sound like you're struggling. I think Corey was thinking it's like Dunkin' Donuts size. I mean, they're tasty. Were they pretty big? It. Or were they more bagels? Bagels. Last filling is shit. No. Yeah. A lot of carbs. I don't really eat bread. Corey anymore. needs it. He'll go like eight hours without eating. That's some serious intermittent fasting. Because I'm working. Uh huh. I mean, you, most of the time you're just. I don't even know what you're doing. Well, that's actually. one day a week. <laughs> you still send the videos to the girl? The ones with all of us. <laughs> <laughs> the one from Saturday I have to because there's a lot of shit in there. A lot of shit talk. Oh, that shit I still like, okay, cut that, cut that, that can't go in. I bought Dev a diamond bracelet for her for her anniversary, even though I don't know what it is. <laughs> that makes sense. It made up for not knowing the date. Did you guys discuss the date yet? Or she's <laughs> like, yeah, I know it. I don't even think she knows it. Do you ever think about getting married? <laughs> not really. I, I mean, I don't, you don't need to. It's not even a thought. Marriage isn't a thought in my head right now. Just live together. Marriage is a social construct. There's no reason to get married. I mean, so are parking tickets, so we gotta pay those. Yeah, well, but that's like a law. Party. I can't believe how much liquor this place sells in the middle of the freaking day. What are these people doing? What kind of lifestyle is that in the, in the rich area here? This is See, what people... Where we're, we we're in one of the richest areas of Maryland right now where we film today, and we're at this place called the Wine Merchant, which sells liquor, wine, and... They have like amazing Bagels. sandwiches and food. It's, and definitely, these, it's definitely Jewish. Yeah, and all these mm -hmm. wealthy people are buying liquor like the world's going to an end. I mean, people walking out with two bottles of vodka, case that woman just had a case of wine. It's like crazy. I mean, it's Tuesday. It's because what rich people do on the weekend just get fucking obliterated. I don't think they rich people have. I think every day's a weekend. Yes, for them. I have a weekend. It's for the girls on a Tuesday. It's Tuesday. What are we gonna drink tonight? Yeah, rich Juice. moms just drink a bottle of wine every night. Well, they have to. You ever see the guys they're married to? Short little puds, chubby. What did you What did you say? Pug? Puds. What's a pud? Pud. He's like a pud. Is it like a spud? Pick up that. Like a potato. Like a troll that lives under a bridge. Mmm. She needs at least a bottle of wine to make him look handsome. What, what were we calling my mom on the on the party limo? Oh. No, like what's it means small? Imp. 
We were yeah. calling mom an imp. Did she get mad? Ah. Uh, I don't think she knew That's what they called short people in medieval times, imps. Oh, that's right. In Game of Thrones, the little guy was the imp. Peter Dinklage was the imp. Yeah. You guys want some pickle chips? No, I'm good. Want a pickle? I, I don't like the pickle chips that much. No, what is that? Hey, I don't like eat it. my pickle. I don't want any more pickles. I'm done. I still have a pickle, too. At, look at that blue G-Wagon. That thing is Ooh. hideous. It is, it is. A blue G-Wagon? Yeah, it's powder blue G-Wagon. Corey, I'll take your pickle back home. That gives you an idea of the kind of That car's like 150k. Actually, no, not that one, not that one. No, the Barabbas model is 150k. The jacked up Yeah, the bigger one. What's it called? It's called the Barabbas. Dude, looking at the it's got bigger, thicker wheels on it and a different interior. Have you seen like the Mercedes S-Classes where like usually you hire a driver for it? Yeah. I was looking at the interior of those cars yesterday because of like a video popped up and I recommended. They looked insane. And dude, they have like massage chairs in the back and like massage chairs? little TVs. Yeah. It, it, it's for when you have a driver. The car's 200K. All oh, we've had is a car accident. Oh yeah, we almost died. <laughs> the limo driver stopped like really abruptly when we were on the highway. Everyone flew into the, the wall of the limo. Yeah, was, my hips, was, was he going there through was also a, There was a sword in the front. So <laughs> there, was, <laughs> there was a sword in the car. <laughs> 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 a sword. Whoops, we're down one crew member. I wish, I really wish we had that on film. You should always have a camera on when you're in the limo. Too much shadow. We were driving back and everyone was fucking dead. We went to the Renaissance Festival. I remember going to those. They still sell the turkey legs. I didn't see fucking any last night. No, I didn't see it. Oh, the, really? The we, we were also so drunk that no one knew what was going I on. I didn't get like any food. All they had there is like sad. beer or ale or crap they like that. They have cheesecake on a stick. I didn't get Bro, that either. They make so much money. They sell mead and it's literally just like shitty wine. It's nasty. horrible. No, it's bad. Mead it's horrible. Not, it's not real it's mead. It's like watered down honey wine. Even good mead's terrible. It's really sugary. It's I made from it honey. Which it good, they so used to make it from honey in the old, in the medieval yeah. times. And, uh, I can't believe that's Corey, what they drank. Corey was dressed as terrible. donkey and I was dressed as Shrek. Oh, no, I, I saw the Instagram. I got, I got abducted by multiple people, including children. This one fucking child kept coming around and grabbing my collar. Uh, yeah, we were auctioning him off. I got bought by a woman. Did she you get paid any, $5. Did, you, did she actually? Yeah. Well, she she tried to pay and I was like, no, just keep the money, please. I'd feel weird. Uh, Imagine if we started like a bidding war for him, like in the... It would have been so funny. Honestly, I think it would have worked. One ass. Nick was, like Nick was a little dinosaur or something. <laughs> it was Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Yeah, and he's an ogre. Place. A dinosaur. So what happens when you get everyone fucking hammered. What were we guys drinking? Just whatever they had. Tequila, and then we drank like Angry Orchard and Mead. Which was terrible. I, I hate sugary alcohol. The Angry Orchard was much better than the Mead. Yeah. Is that oh, they sold the Angry Orchard there? Or you yeah. bought some? Mm -hmm. Brian, is that bag trash now? Yes. Yeah. I'm not eating the other pickle. Dude, this was such a good I'm call. pickled out. It's like the most refreshing pickle. drink. What's that? The half and half. Oh, yeah. Huh? How much sugar is that one? Uh, probably like 100 grams. Oh, it's way too much. You <laughs> know, it's no, like, it's only 30. <laughs> it's like 90. You're only supposed Bro, to have 37 grams of sugar per day. How many? 37 per day. Oh, I'm oh, this way is more sweet. than that. Arnold Palmer. He didn't die of diabetes. <sighs> 30 grams is not that much for, for like a sugary he drink. He died because he smoked. Oh, He's yeah. been dead. He's old as fuck. Yeah, he died like three, four years ago. You see this photo of him? This was taken like 30 years ago and it's old and white. Yeah, he's a serious <laughs> smoker. He smoked while he played golf. Because he's a golf legend and golf No, they're like a different brand. Like, like I'm about to go drive up there. <laughs> oh, they're actually Ray Ban. I keep them in here, Lori wears them. I wear these. Shady Rays. Shady Rays? <laughs> Shady Rays, they're only 40 bucks. That sounds like the most knockoff ass name I've ever heard. Shady Rays. <laughs> <laughs> what can we call it other than Ray Ban? How about Shady Rays? Anyway, that's it for today. When's that video coming out we did? Next week? Um, no, it's coming out Sunday. Oh, this Sunday? Yeah. This Sunday, look for uh, a very violent, animalistic video where Corey is the victim. Yep. I'm always your victim. Corey, how's your butthole doing, bud? Um, it's been all right since this is the, the last time. Is it still extremely inflamed? No, I got that checked out. They said that uh, I needed rest and uh, relaxation. Rest, lube, and relaxation. Yeah, they said I have to lube it every five hours, um, so just in case it gets uh, infected. And wipe it down with a yeah. they cool, said whatever cool went, wet wipe. They said whatever went in there was a little bit dirty, so you need to get <laughs> it out. Nick, I told you to take a shower. <laughs> Nick, you filthy bastard. <laughs> Everybody tip your nurses. We'll see you got what's your outro for your videos? <laughs> you just breathe heavy and <laughs> 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 another video is over.
Oh. <laughs> that was today's video. <laughs> fucking guys ran me into the fucking ground. 59 years old. Well, you'll sleep all well tonight. Like I was 20. Yeah, hopefully I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he died in his sleep. <laughs> this is a tribute video. This is a memorial video. Of course, you didn't hit record. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, imagine somebody died making the video and we didn't record it. Dude, yeah, would you share that if somebody did die? Probably. It's, it's evidence. Reason. We got 10 million views in six hours. At one point, I thought you were just going to pass out. My, I wouldn't pass it out. I didn't even feel that from, that from the sled pull. You felt that. I know you did. Yeah, the sled pull, yeah, I felt that. You'd let us know if you were having a heart attack, right? That's, that sled pull was bad. No, he would just probably try to plow through <laughs> it. And all of a sudden, he's lying on the ground. We're like, come on, man, get off. And he's just like, not moving. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. The turf, it would have been easier. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, like and subscribe. Until next video, peace. Toodles.